the spirit of what some people would regard as a slacker, a person who sits in their mom's basement and watches the movie Signs over and over again, maybe smokes some pot. Um, however, there is another side to these people that is oft not talked about that Mark and I are obsessed with, and that is these people are neo-philosophers. They are pioneers, if you will. They are people who are not doing the normal run-of-the-mill life, and they're consciously choosing to wait for something greater. And there's something incredibly noble in a person who literally is putting themselves through the pain of watching everyone else get married and have kids and have jobs and have money in order to wait for some greater purpose. And that's really what inspired us to, you know, develop this character of Jeff and to explore, you know, what would happen if a guy like this actually enters the universe and some of his theories about the universe and the nature of his destiny seems to be unfolding in front of his eyes. We started the casting process with Jeff um, and about 30 seconds into our meeting with Jason it seemed pretty obvious that not only was he going to play Jeff but there was a lot of Jeff in there. You know, Jason has that dreamer quality that Jeff has and and he believes in, in magic and he, and he loved a lot of these things and, and I guess most importantly you know he saw what we saw in Jeff which is he is at once hilarious um, but also uh, kind of a hero and someone we want to root for. It became clear to us that um, having Jason playing this guy who is an utmost dreamer no sense of how to practically live his life whatsoever um, in contrast with you know Pat played by Ed who is really not thinking about anything emotional or spiritual at all in his life he's all practicality he's just trying to get through the day and if he does any self-examination he's gonna fall to the floor and cry so putting those two guys you know in a Porsche together trying to find their destiny in the day just seemed like a nice fit a big part of why we chose Jason and Ed is because, you know, we met with them, we discussed the script with them, they got it. They understood our love for these characters, the, the horrible things that they do as well as the lovable things that they do. And they're just incredibly intelligent, creative human beings. And that, that's really the premise for our choice for these, for these people. You really have to go on your intuition because ultimately you're going to end up on set and it's such an enormous collaboration and there are going to be so many, so many things that hit you in the side of the head and you're trying to react to it. So what you really just want... Nice are, people. You want nice people. You want compatriots who get what you're trying to do and are going to help you get there. And honestly, we, we could not have had a better experience with those guys. You know, yeah. They're just so brilliant. They're creators on their own. So they're there with us, sort of like you know, evolving the process, making it as good as it can be, because the script is a beginning form, but really you're, you're bringing this thing to life on set. And, so, and they're being nice in the process. And they're being nice the whole time. Susan is, you know, it's no surprise, is a screen legend. Um, we were highly intimidated um, by even sending her this script. Um, and luckily enough, she read it, responded to the material, and then we had this great phone conversation with her, you know, um, where she could tell we were nervous. And she's just, she's such a student of the human condition. She understands people so well. And the way that she handled us, it was almost like she was mothering us in that moment uh, and taking care of us. And, you know, she said, look, I, I haven't improvised a bunch before. I know you guys do a lot of improvisation. I'm, I'm willing to try and learn. I hope I'm good at it. She was so humble and so gentle and sweet. And uh, for anyone who's ever met her, or, or you could imagine, she's highly intelligent too. Um, so, you know, it was literally just, will she have us? We'll certainly have her. And when she said yes, you know, we were, needless to say, delighted. Um, and she doesn't disappoint on set because she really, she takes chances. And that's what we need for these movies is someone who is willing to trust us and say, you know what, I'll try this. We may fall flat on our faces, but I trust that we'll get there eventually. And she was down for it. I think, you know, the first thing that comes to mind in terms of surprising audiences is, you know, this is a movie with Jason Siegel, Ed Helms, Junie Greer. These are funny people. You know, we've experienced, you know, Everyone has laughed their butt off like watching these people do what they do. And this movie is really funny, but really this is more of a dramatic turn for all three of those actors, especially Jason and Ed, where, you know, ultimately it is a relationship movie. It's a movie about family that also happens to be very funny. So 
you know, I think people are going to be really excited. And, you know, we're so proud of, of the work that they did. They're, they're phenomenal actors. And I think this is, you know, one of the first times that that's really going to, going to break through. For a movie like Jeff, it's about our obsession with people who are obsessed with science. Um, it's a great profile because it's at once hilarious because people who believe so strongly that the universe is delivering them signals, it's just a funny thing to watch, but there's a tremendous amount of heart in it. Um, and, and that embodies the essence of this film for us is Jeff and how strongly he loves M. Night Sh Shyamalan's signs and how strongly he believes that you know, the wrong number who called his house might be leading him to the nature of his destiny. It's at once hilarious to us, uh, but at the same time rooted in, in the heart of a person who's dreaming and hoping that his life has something grand in store for him.